Upon departing home port, S-80 was almost immediately intercepted by NATO submarines. It looks like we will have our first true confrontation with enemy subs. Let's hope this rust bucket can hold her own. Five torpedo tubes were loaded with set 65 torpedoes, and tube number four had a decoy loaded. S-80 turned on a heading of 252, the last known bearing of Sierra one Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Cold Water series in the 1984 USSR campaign. Our whiskey class submarine has been intercepted by a NATO submarine here. It was bearing 252, however we have lost contact. Our boat has turned on a heading of 252 and we are going to see if we can establish contact here and sink this guy. We're going to rig for silent running real quick. There is a moderate layer at a depth of 30 meters. I'm actually going to pop up to periscope depth real quickly just to check that out and see what's going on there. Okay, we are coming up to PD. As you can see, we have one decoy loaded in tube number four, and then the rest are set 65 torpedoes. I figured that would be best for a uh, anti-submarine engagement. Let's go ahead and just raise the ESM mast real quick, just to check, make sure. Okay, as expected, nothing is out there. Raise radar, see if there's any surface vessels, merchant ships or something. And that is a negative. Both are going down. And we are going to drop down to 90 meters now or so. Yep, 91 meters. Sounds good. And hopefully we can establish contact on this enemy submarine. I just wanted to check and make sure there were no surface assets in the area. Okay, folks, we got something. We were making a northern turn to clear our baffles when we picked up this Sierra 1. Let's uh, identify. It is obviously a submarine. Auburn. Yeah, that is her. Recognize it. What's her depth? She is at 140-ish meters. Let's match. Down to 137. Let's prep our torpedoes. We'll fire bow tubes, I think. Make sure these are using a zigzag search pattern. You know what, let's just set up all of them. And all of them will go active. How far away is the target? Target is 6.3 kilometers away. I'm gonna try to maneuver into her baffles. I have a feeling this, this enemy submarine is a bit closer than I would like. The solution is at 54, 56%, and she is moving at eight knots. She is quite loud. We are still rigged for silent, which is good. I could fire now, but I'd want to get that solution up just a little bit. If the target goes active, we will be picked up, but currently she can't hear us as we are crawling at three knots. Honestly, let's... Here's, a, here's an idea. Let's turn on a heading of 200, please. Okay, and it looks like our friend is just heading east. Perfect. Now, we don't know if this is the only submarine in the area as well. Is this possible? There are multiple. And let's drop speed down to one knot. Really just slow to a crawl and try to be as quiet as possible. If I can maneuver into our baffles, that would be ideal. Our solution is really good. It's at 95%. We can actually see the target here. Another diesel electric, of course. Yeah, we're gonna try to get into the baffles here and see if that is possible. She is just heading east, speed is eight knots. So now we're just gonna play this waiting game. Hopefully it pays off. And this will also allow us to see if there are multiple targets, multiple submarines out here. It kind of looked like she was starting to turn for a second. She turned south, that may be our time to attack, but 
It looks like she's just continuing on her eastern course. We have a second contact, Sierra 2. I think it's another one. Recognize it as such. Solution's only 18%. Another Oberon. I'm probably butchering that name, but that's what you come to expect here. Let's see what this one's heading as. Solution's at 40%. Can this one hear me yet? She barely. I'll stop. Mm, now, fighting two is uh, problematic. But things seem to be going well. This one's pretty far away. This one's uh, 10 kilometers out, and wow, okay, she is she is turning away. And we lost contact. Alright, this is uh this is the part where things get super sketchy. Contact is fluctuating depth. Okay, here we go. We'll see if this pays off. It'd be lovely if you just turned south for some random reason right now. That would be perfect. And this is quite tense. We are pretty close. What's range? 1.7. Yikes. But she is starting to maneuver away. Let's increase speed to one knot. Perfect. And now we maneuver into a special Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was not intentional. Okay, well, all ahead full. Uh, let's fire a second. Alright, um, drop a noisemaker all ahead flank, come up to 90 feet, 90 meters, excuse me. I meant to change course, oh god. Alright, go active. Let's find this other one. Begin reloading. Ah, uh, talk about a disaster. Alright, um... Alright, we're gonna fire down that line of bearing. Let's wait for that ping one more time. Come on, give me another ping. Sierra 2. There we go. Alright, firing, bearing 192, fire. Alright, torpedoes away. Alright. Time to get out of here. For that freaking torpedo picks us up. Okay, there was another launch. Okay, decoy. Fire south. Get that thing out of here. While I'm thinking of it, drop a noisemaker right here. Alright. Go up 46 meters. Torpedoes tracking Sierra 1. Fantastic. Okay, tube one is ready. Let's try to, let's see. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe this will be enough. Let's hold off on firing more torpedoes. See, I barely have anything left. Let's load another decoy. Gosh, I wish we had. Oh, this torpedo better come back around and start tracking Sierra one again. Yeah, 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 we are cavitating. That's fine, that's fine for now. Oh, there she is. Look at that. I just need to get out of the way of this torpedo before it activates. I think we're in the clear. Let's reduce speed down to standard, down to eight knots. Four for four. Torpedo's tracking the target. Here we go. Dropping another noisemaker. It looks like our torpedo is tracking the noisemaker, unfortunately. That's fine. This torpedo looks good. I hope it actually picks up the target. Okay, this torpedo is active. 
You know what? Let's go. Let's go above the layer. Up to 15 meters. Our torpedo is looping back around for CR1. Come on. Hopefully this is the this is it right here. Okay, and hopefully this torpedo picks up the target. Another noisemaker. Damn it. Yeah, these noisemakers just keep throwing our fish off. Oh, it's tracking. Come on. Ah, uh, darn it, it's going under the target. Oh my gosh, look at this fat spread. Okay, we need to backtrack, we need to turn around. <laughs> to get out of the way of these two. Hopefully this torpedo tracks. Our torpedo designated for Sierra 1s looping back around. Okay. Tube 2 is ready. Load a noise mate or a decoy, excuse me. This torpedo looks like it'll track. Hoping it will. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, torpedo, please. These noisemakers are throwing it off. Oh, that may be it here. It's going right above the target. You lucky, lucky submarine. Weapon countermeasure homing. Okay. All right. Let's drop down 150 feet. We got to start moving fast. Okay. Torpedo's tracking Sierra 2 now. It's really just a matter of our torpedoes locking onto the target and hitting it. This actually looks good, though. Noisemaker, but... Yeah, that's probably going to disrupt tracking. Oh, no. Looks like our fish is tracking. Negative, it is not. All right. Well, that's good. So far, so good. We're dropping down. Let's we'll start moving at a speed of 13 knots. We need to get out of the path of these two torpedoes. We have two enemy torpedoes. We're going to turn southeast now. I believe this one in the middle is actually tracking our decoy. I think we're clear there. Our torpedoes are both still messing around with the enemy submarines. So far, they haven't managed to hit the target. The amount of noisemakers they're dropping is really causing issues with our torpedo homing, but that's okay. I'm really concerned about this torpedo right now. So we're going to try to move away from that as quickly as possible. Shit, it's tracking. All right. All right, come up. Up to 30 meters. Drop a noisemaker, please. Okay. Noise maker dropped. We'll see. Maybe that'll throw it off. It'd be swell if it would. It looks like torpedo is still tracking. Um, no, it's not. It's All right, rifle rudder. Here we go. This is going to get spicy. Going flank, 13 knots. Okay, rudder amidships, noisemaker. Okay, where's that freaking torpedo? It's far below us. I think. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's right here. Alright, down, 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 down. Rudder amidships. Drop down like a rock, please. Whip the rudder around, knuckle. On our way out, thank you. Okay, we are plummeting down. Left floor rudder. Another knuckle. Okay, rudder amidships. Good, good, good. 
Let's check on. No, oh, we're okay. We're good. I think we'll be able to evade just fine. All right, rudder midships. Blow ballast. I didn't realize our depth. Oh god. Okay, come up just a little bit. Got a little deep. Let's come up to 210 meters. Okay, level out. Good. Jeez, that that was bad. I got a little sketchy. Okay, torpedo has been evaded, I think. I don't think this torpedo is going to be a problem. I, I honestly think this torpedo may even be above the layer, which is not uh, increases our chances of evasion, really. I think we're in the clear. Honestly, let's let's come up just a bit more. Let's come up to 190 meters. And this torpedo that was fired from Sierra 2 is on track to intercept Sierra 1, which would be hilarious. Uh, they got to be running out of uh, noisemakers here soon, my goodness. And our torpedoes are probably going to run out of fuel here eventually as well. We may have to launch more, which is um, less than ideal, honestly. Uh, we are down to two. Actually, we're down to four uh, set 65s, two in the stern tubes. I, there is also another enemy submarine on the campaign map close to us. Uh, the chances of us being intercepted by that are pretty high, so hopefully we can take these two guys out uh, now. Just look at all these noisemakers up here to the north. Wow. All right. Well, we'll see. It's really a waiting game at this point. We hit one. We hit one. CR2 has been hit. About time. Okay, we just had a launch. Another launch from, I'm guessing, CR1. Awesome. I'm glad we finally got one. That's very reassuring. Okay, we are still... Sierra 1 may not be dealing with any torpedoes now. She may be cleared as possible. We have two noisemakers flashing here. I'm going to wait to fire. We'll see. But at least we destroyed one. See you later. Looks like we hit her in the close to the bow torpedo room. Do you have a problem? This is the torpedo coming from Sierra 1. Let's maneuver out of the way quickly, please. Moving up to flank speed. It's probably best for us just to accelerate and move past it. We're continuing to actively ping Sierra 1. It looks like she successfully evaded our torpedo, which is a shame. The other torpedoes that we're tracking have exploded at this point. I kind of want to just fire one. I really am not too keen on firing more torpedoes, but we already, honestly, we already need to RTB before proceeding on our real mission. There's another launch right here. All right. Fire. See you later, torpedo. Alright, there's our fish. Sierra 1 contact faded. Right, continue to actively ping. We'll find her again. Just need to move slightly. Get out of the way of these oncoming torpedoes. Let's secure active, actually. Stop actively pinging for now. We'll see what happens. Go ahead and reload something, I guess. Might as well while we are thinking about it. More active pings. Yeah, we're probably going to head home after this. We are, we really, we're still in the Barren Sea, so.
we're not far away from home. It'll probably be in our best interest just to, to head there. Okay, target is pinging us still. Which is nice. It looks like she has already turned north. We're going to maintain this heading for now. Hopefully we can get out of the way before this torpedo activates. That's really the easiest form of evasion, just getting out of the way before it even starts tracking. Okay, our torpedo went active. We are out of the way of the enemy torpedo. However, I don't think this torpedo is going to track. We're going to have to fire another one, even though I really didn't want to. Um, let's have this torpedo. The submarine is above us. I'm actually starting to wonder if this guy is out of torpedoes. He has not fired again. I think he might be. There's another torpedo coming our way. That was his last one. Oh my gosh. Okay, he fired another one to the north. Nice thread between these two. This is super risky what we're doing, but I want to make sure this next torpedo hits. Okay, target is at 120 meters. Let's match. We're gonna make sure we sink it this guy this time. Range is two kilometers. Hopefully, uh, this guy actually is out of torpedoes. Can I see how many torpedoes this thing has? I don't think I can actually see how many it carries. Hmm. I'm not sure. We haven't heard a launch in a while, no. She obviously knows exactly where we are. <laughs> and we know exactly where she is. Closing. Range 1.6, 1.5. All right, tube. I'm guessing this is tube three. Okay, there we go. Fire. Left full rudder. Get the hell out of here. Turn north. Drop down 190 meters. I keep trying to, I keep wanting to say feet. I've been playing too much Silent Hunter 4. All right. Have fun with that. Come on. There we go. Torpedoes active. Should be tracking. Thankfully, our torpedoes are significantly faster than theirs. We're going to be able to get out of the way. We're fine. Drop a decoy right here. Thank you. And keep running. Keep running. Oh, my gosh. What is this? What is this torpedo doing? Oh, God. Okay. Okay. We're okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. It's tracking me. That is not good. Okay. We're fine, though. Torpedo's going for the freaking noisemaker again. Okay, torpedo's tracking us. That's fine. Not entirely surprising. Okay, let's knuckle. Okay. So I guess he did have another torpedo left. All right, come up, 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 up. Noisemaker. There we go. Torpedo's off. I'm hoping this torpedo may start tracking Sierra 1. Wouldn't that be a beautiful thing? Okay, rudder amidships. Keep coming up, keep coming up. Thank you, thank you. All right, up to 30 meters. Come on, Torpedo. You can do it. Come on. Oh my gosh, so close. If we fired two, we would definitely overwhelm this thing, but... I'm kind of hoping this Torpedo... I mean, we've evaded it at this point. Let's start turning north. Yeah, this thing's going off on a... I don't even know where it's going. Hopefully our Torpedo can find home. This guy's got to be low. CR1 has to be low on noisemakers. Okay, what 
our boat up to. Another noisemaker, my gosh. They're cavitating, no surprise there. Reduce speed to full. Okay, making 10 knots. Let's see if this torpedo reacquires. It's way down here though. Are we still cavitating? Negative. Perfect. Got her! Fantastic. We're cavitating again. Reduce speed to five knots. There we go. Jeez, what a what an intense fight. A two diesel electrics versus my poor little whiskey. Um, we're not out of the woods yet, but I think we have successfully evaded this torpedo. Okay, we are clear to disengage. No vessels, weapons, aircraft are flooding. Let's go ahead and leave combat. We gained quite a bit of experience and we got 10 more prestige. So we are up to 50 prestige. Heck yeah, I am happy with that. Let's continue. Excellent initiative, but this was not our mission objective. I am, and we were just intercepted once again. Well, crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. We have Sierra 1 here, which is already actively pinging us. We are launching a noisemaker now. We are hopping right into the action. Let's go active and find this guy. All ahead standard. Sierra 1, she is maneuvering away. Let's try to identify the target. We are moving far too quickly. Reduce speed down to slow. You remember at the end of last episode, we were intercepted almost immediately. Another one of these. All right, and we are in our baffles. Okay, tube. Five, fire. There we go. Stern tube away. There we go. Torpedoes away. Heading towards the target. I didn't even check her depth. She is a bit lower than us. All right, start heading south. All ahead, full. Drop down to 122 meters, please. Let's get out of here. I was not expecting... There we go. Yeah, another torpedo being launched. I was not expecting to be uh, pinged so rapidly. I didn't even get a chance to do a proper intro, but that's just the way it is sometimes. Torpedo is tracking, heading her way. Target is turning towards us, which is interesting. We are pretty much out of torpedoes. We have one more um, set 65 torpedo that we can use here. Other than that, we are pretty much out. This thing's launching all sorts of stuff our way, which is fantastic. I really appreciate that. Hopefully this is just a single contact. That would uh, make things a little easier. We have matched our depth. We are now at 90 meters. Hopefully this torpedo picks up the target. And you know what? We're going to have to RTB to uh, Bermansk anyway, so I might as well fire another. I'm just hoping we can get into a better position to fire tube number six at uh, Sierra 1 here. We aren't being pinged from multiple locations, so it is possible that this is the only submarine in the area, which is reassuring, to say the least. How far away is she? She is five kilometers away. We are still going active, understandably so, tracking the target as she closes in on us. We don't have any of her torpedoes on scope yet. It would be nice to see the location of her torpedoes. We are just, uh, let's bump up to 13 knots. We really need to move. I forgot exactly where I put the activation point of this fish. Hopefully it activates soon. Hey, she is cavitating. Interesting. Okay, finally making 13 knots. Is she blowing ballast? Okay, now firing another torpedo. Interesting. And I have nothing on... We can't hear anything going this quickly. Did she stop pinging? 
Let's reduce speed down to three knots, just so we can hear all the various torpedoes in the water and figure out what the situation is. Okay. This is actually okay. She launched quite a few of them towards our decoy, which is ideal for sure. I don't know if this torpedo is going to actually pick her up. Hopefully it does. This torpedo is the most worrisome now. Oh gosh, where did I set the activation point on this? This thing should have activated a while ago. I should have had it activate a while ago. All right, let's start moving. All ahead full. There we go. Torpedo's gone active. Please track. Free, please. Did I really have it set as a straight runner? Oh my gosh, I've really screwed the pooch here, huh? Okay. Well, with the way the sub is zigzagging around... Yeah, it's not going to pick her up. All right. Target's near the surface. Let's fire here. Okay. Final torpedo away. If this doesn't, uh, you know, get close to the target, then we'll just break contact. There's nothing else we can do at this point. We are all out of set 65s. These are all wake homing torpedoes of what I have left, so... Um, pretty worthless for this uh, encounter. Well, our torpedo has gone active and it looks like it is actually going behind the target. So we need to just break contact. There's nothing we can do. Both torpedoes missed. All of their torpedoes missed. It is time to run away. Secure active. We need to be quiet. This torpedo is moving aft of us as well. I don't think it's going to track. We just need to leave. We have successfully broken contact with the enemy, and we are clear to leave, thankfully. We are going to RTB back to Murmansk and rearm our boat since we are all out of set 65 torpedoes, and we need those for our actual mission. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.